Elections took place in Israel on March the 23rd, and the recurrence of a common correlation of events could be observed. It is as follows. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu narrowly wins the election, but is unable to lead without a coalition in the Knesset. In such a scenario, what invariably happens, as has happened before, is that an escalation takes place in Gaza. Netanyahu was attending a restaurant to presumably celebrate his success in the election when one single rocket was launched from Gaza. The rocket didn't even target the area where Netanyahu and company were located. The Israeli Defense Forces responded immediately, striking presumed Hamas targets in the Gaza Strip with numerous missiles. This has been observed in past elections, Netanyahu being targeted, since as the great leader of Israel, he is doing such a grand job that his enemies want to eliminate him. This tends to happen quite conveniently, like when he's losing in a political situation. The story is then propagated further. Despite being targeted by Arabs, Netanyahu is willing to cooperate with some of them. A railway mega project with the UAE has just been announced. Other infrastructure projects are also on the way. In addition to these, weeks earlier, the UAE announced a $10 billion investment fund for the two countries to develop a joint air defense system. This will be useful for both the UAE and Saudi Arabia. Riyadh and Tel Aviv have been allied behind the scenes for some time. After all, they both stand against the Iranian threat. The Saudi-led coalition, of which the UAE is a part, is struggling in Yemen. Its members need as much assistance as possible. An air defense system would provide ideal assistance for the kingdom, keeping in mind the US Patriot batteries have historically done little in terms of defense. An effective defense is rather urgently needed. Yemen's Anza Allah, the Houthis, carry out frequent drone strikes on various military positions, including Aramco infrastructure, within Saudi Arabia. On the ground in Yemen, on March the 24th, the Houthis ambushed Saudi-led forces in the eastern province of Azia. This came two days after Anza Allah conducted a successful military operation against Saudi proxies in the Damar governorate. Saudi Arabia is struggling with its intervention in Yemen, as is the UAE as its ally. They need all the help they can get. Luckily, help might come their way from Israel, which is open to cooperation with anybody who is ready to antagonize Iran and turn the other way when annexation and illegal settlements are mentioned.